Welcome back to Fishing Planet. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to earn a lot of money when you're a low level. You might already know this, we're gonna be catching the spotted bass. I have done a complete bass guide on the channel already. And I think I said in that video, you can start this from like level five, but I believe after more research, you can do it from level four. I mentioned level five or six, but if we go to the shop quickly, you're going to need to get yourself, like you can get a casting rod if you want to, you can get yourself the value cast, but you can also do it with a spinning rod. I would recommend going for the elemental six foot seven, which is 1700 bucks. I think the entire amount is about 3,800 and that includes your license. So you want to get yourself a spinning rod, then you get yourself a spin reel. At level four, I would go with the Inspire Cast 2000. And then you're just gonna use the basic mono line. I would go for the 0.18 millimeter, but it's not expensive, 260 bucks. And then always make sure you're upgrading your keep net to hold the most amount of fish. At level four, you can get the medium, which will hold 15 pound with a max single fish weight of 6.5, but you don't need to worry about that. The most you can get in terms of a spotted bass at Lone Star Lake is roughly around 2.1 pound. My personal best is, I think it's 2.039 or something. Then the only other thing you need is a casting spoon. At level four, you can get the third ounce, which uses a number one hook. They're 130 bucks, you get five of them. You shouldn't ever really need to use more than one unless you're lucky enough to hook a monster, which you can't really do at Lone Star Lake. So that is pretty much all you need in terms of tackle. If we go to my inventory, I've got the value cast five foot three, casting spoon 0.2 mil because it's a different rod. And that's a casting rod set up, so you'd need a casting reel, but the spinning reels actually cast further. As you can see, I've got 98 feet of line on this. If we go over to my elemental, this is the eight foot six but we have a lot more line on there. I believe the earlier ones have more line as well, so you can cast further. It all depends on your reel and stuff as well. But I can take that narrow spoon off, I can put a casting spoon on. I'm actually gonna do that with use the elemental so you guys can see what they're like. And then what you want to do is make sure you have the advanced license. It's 200 bucks for the entire day. Licenses actually run for real time, so you can see this is going to expire at 6.49 a.m. on the 19th, and I'm recording it at 6.49 on the 18th. So it's a full 24 hours, it's not in-game time, it's real life time. So we've got that license. If you take a look at the weather forecast on the left hand side, you can see that the fish are very active right now. I'm going to be spawning up by the Swampy Exploration, just because this is my personal best bass spot. But you can catch them in other areas at this lake. Okay, we're at the lake, and if we go on to this little bridge... I like to stand about here and just double check in we do have the elemental equipped. I like casting in between these lily pads here. So if you press your left trigger you can guide your cast. And I'm going to cast about here. I've got my reel set on speed 1, which you can do by up and down on the d-pad. And I usually do twitching, which I'll show you a, that technique. But someone mentioned in the comments that they like using stop and go. So if we try stop and go, apparently the bass absolutely love it. Stop and go is where you literally just right trigger for a second, let it go. And then just rinse and repeat. Whereas twitching, you use both your triggers to sort of strike and reel in at the same time. And you can see at the near the top right what my lure is doing. That's our first fish on so far. It's an absolutely tiny spotted bass. The XP is not great with these, with 76 bucks, and it's just under a pound. And as I said, they can double that, a little bit over double that, so you can get around 150 bucks. Also, if you're wanting XP and not so much money, you can go for the smallmouth buffalo that are here. I've seen that they're decent XP especially for a low level, but I haven't covered them myself. So if there is anything on this game you want me to cover, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do it. I've had to switch spot because that left side is just not doing me any favors this time round. 
But we've got our second fish on. I believe this is a bass. Sometimes you can catch grass pickerel. Talking of grass pickerel. 59 bucks, 0.871 pound. 21 XP, so they're a little bit better. Don't get annoyed and upset if you do lots of casts and don't get bites. With spinning, you can easily miss bites. There's different techniques. Sometimes you'll get fish on straight away like I just did. And this one seems to be a bit heavier. This might be like a 1.8 pound bass. But don't get upset if you're casting and you're not hooking onto anything. Or you're getting bites and you can't set your hook. Because you can always change spot. There's loads of different things you can do to switch it up. Okay, we're just about to land this. So 1.827. Worth 141 bucks. We've got 19 XP, so it's not too bad. But that's £3.7 in my net. And using this method, because it's hard, it's not hard, it's time consuming to make money on this. And when you want to go fishing in the higher level lakes and rivers, it costs a fair amount of travel costs and things like that. And your equipment becomes really expensive. But with this method, I made... I think it was just short of 2,000 bucks and like a couple of hundred XP or something in the matter of maybe half an hour of fishing. So it can be very efficient, good money, decent XP, maybe a couple of levels. Every time you level up on this game, you get 1,500 bucks. Sometimes you'll complete a challenge and you'll be awarded a bait coin. If you're that desperate for money, you can convert your bait coin into bucks. And I believe the exchange is one bait coin for 100 bucks. And then obviously, if you've got some spare real money floating around, you can always buy some bait coin and convert it. And I would say when it gets to about 40, maybe 35 feet out or something, if you don't have a bite, I would whack your gear speed up to 4. Just reel it in and recast. Because the bass don't normally bite when you're too close. That was an absolute baby. I think that's the smallest one I've ever caught. But bass is a bass. Still money at the end of the day. This is maybe 1.2, possibly 1.4 pound. It's not, it's not even a bass. Nice little grass pickerel. Money and XP, we don't mind. There we go, another fish on. This one's a little bit heavier. This is more than likely going to be a bass. And again, I'm going to say 1.2 to 1.4 pound. Oh, nearly 1.7. That was a personal best. That put up zero fight. Like, there was no tension, pretty much. 21 XP, 60 bucks, I'll take it. Okay, so I've got just over 10 pounds worth of fish. 10.7 pound in my net. The fish aren't biting at the moment, not really. I've tried a few different spots up by that bridge, but as I said, you can fish pretty much anywhere in this lake. So if we go ahead and leave, we'll check how much they're worth. 800 bucks and 143 XP. And then obviously, if you have premium, they're worth even more. So that was literally 20 minutes of fishing, and it was very quiet. If you get an active time, the sun's out, you're in for a good fishing experience, because bass put up a little fight. If you need to know more about the species you're going for, then there is a description on the left hand side. It explains the preferred baits and lures, their typical sizes. And then if you look at the weather forecast, because there's no travel costs at all to Lone Star Lake, you might want to fish early morning and late evening on the first day, then the second is the same again. On the third day, you might want to skip the morning and just do a bit of evening fishing. And then with the advanced license, it's very important because you can't keep the spotted bass unless you have that license it's against the rules of the lake and the warning you might get a fine and it amounts to 100 credits for every time you get fined getting fined is definitely not worth it but the advanced license costs 200 bucks it lasts for a real time day so you've got plenty of time to do bass fishing you'll make the money back in no time at all as i said in about 20 minutes i times my license money by four if you want just extend the days because 
To sell the fish in this game, you need to either leave the lake or fast forward a day. It's at the end of every day, it automatically sells the fish. Then you can press X or square on your controller, and I believe it's T on PC, so that you can fast forward time, but be warned, there is a cooldown and it's not a very nice one, unless you're fast forwarding time between 9pm and 5am, which I highly doubt you'll be doing. You can use Baitcoin to skip the cooldown period, or if you've got premium, it halves that time. But you can fast forward to the next day, it will sell your fish and you can carry on. Around level 4, like because this is a low level guide, around level 4 you'll be carrying about £15 worth of fish. And that could possibly net you maybe a thousand bucks and it won't take long at all. And then you can just sell the fish and carry on. So it's nice, easy, fairly quick money. Best when you're a low level or if you're skint from going to other places. There will be guides coming soon for other things. I've got a walleye guide coming soon at Emerald Lake to make a lot bigger amounts of money when you're a higher level. And then as I said earlier as well, if there's anything you would like to know about the game, let me know in the comments. I will be more than happy to help you guys out. If you've caught some bass on this, let me know your biggest weight. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.